hey guys what's up i'm back with a new video in this video i will show you how to run xperia z1 running on android lollipop first of all uh, bad news for everyone who have updated their phone to oh, to root it you will first need to downgrade it to kitkat again so i have already done it here i will show you Here, yeah, this is KitKat. Let me focus. This is fourteen dot four dot a dot zero dot one zero eight. You will need to downgrade it to this version first and root it. So I have already rooted this phone. Give the next procedure what to do. First of all, you will need to download these things here. Uh, first of all, let me zoom. First thing you will need to download is PRF Creator, uh, update uh, Super SU, and log your recovery and the FTF. A file of the latest version of Lollipop, and you, uh, if you don't have the FTF file of uh, KitKat, then you will need to download it. That also, I will post the links for PRF Creator Update Super SU and Log Dual Recovery in the description. And for the FTF files, you can download them from Xperia Firm software. Uh, for that, also I will uh, post the link in description. So first of all, uh, you need to download these things and put it in one folder, and install the PRF Creator in your PC. So I have installed it, and then you will need to open the PRF Creator. So this is the PRF Creator. Here you will need to put the three files we have downloaded in these three columns. In the FTF file, you will need to put the FTF of uh, Lollipop. In Super SU, you will need to put the Super SU we have downloaded, and in Recovery, you will need to put the Recovery. And then you will need to press this Create button. Um, make sure do don't uh, mark any of these options. Direct you will need to hit the button cricket. Uh, it will take uh, some time as per your PC, and a new file uh, like this flashable will be created named flashable. Here you can see. This uh, file like this will be created after the process is uh, finished by the PRF creator. Sorry for this disturbance. I'm need to again and again focus it. After doing this, you will need to put this uh, flexible uh, file in the internal memory of your phone. I have already put it and let me show you. You can put it anywhere. I have put it in the download folder here. You can see that I have put this file here. And one thing I forgot to mention even for the log bootloader. So if you are having a log, log bootloader, you can even root your phone. So this is done. Now our next step is to <coughs> install the dual recovery on our KitKat. So I am doing this. Yeah, experience add one log dual recovery and hit install with uh, super su and the process is started.
so you can see that the process is finished and now we need to concentrate on the phone so here it has been booted up in the WM now you will need to install the zip we have created with PRF creator just uh, go wherever you have put it and here it is I will flash it so here it is started to install PRF creator means is for software we create pre-rooted firmware this firmware is already pre-rooted here you can see that it's mentioned pre-rooted firmware it will take time so I will be back in a few minutes so I am back here it will finish and it has finished Press any key to continue. Now you need to go back and don't reboot into the system, just power off your phone from the power options, the last option, and just say that power off. So it's been shut it down now again back to PC now you will need to open the flash tool hope so you might be knowing how to use the flash tool and the sort of things if you guys don't know please comment below and I will make an another video showing how to use this thing now just uh, click this flash device option remain with the flash mode option before doing this you need to put the FTF file we downloaded before of lollipop here in C folder flash tool from this here 270 I have put in this file after putting that file only you will be able to see that file here I put in that file and after that uh, keep these things marked they are optional and here's the main thing you will need to mark uh, exclude baseband and exclude system this is for pre-rooted this is because of pre-rooted firmware we have installed the baseband and system will remain of the pre-rooted firmware and the lollipop will be installed now and just mark this soup this is important so don't forget to do this and hit the flash button and now the flash tool will prepare files for flashing and it will show you to like the device to do this you need to hold the volume down key and put the power connector and you can see that it is starting doing the process so I will be back in few minutes when the process is finished so here it has finished and it is telling that unplug and start your phone so I am unplugging it and starting the phone So it's booting up and 
it will take few minutes as it's the first boot so here I am back it has booted up and you can see that uh, it's lollipop and to confirm that it has been rooted or not just install Kotal Play Store and install root checker Here it is, I will install. 